360. How y'all like my hair? I decided to give y'all a little curly bush situation. A little curly bush situation. Giving y'all a little, a little prince. And a, a little, what's it called? The lip. The, the leather skirt. Ow! Yes. But anyway, I'm five pounds lighter than what I was last week. So, six weeks out post-op, Lipo 360. Altogether, I've lost 15 pounds since the surgery. But again, if y'all have been following me um, since the surgery, I changed you know, my diet. Well, I haven't really changed. Um, I wanna say I don't eat as much. I want to say from the surgery when they did the, the surgery, it doesn't take much for me to um, get full. So I eat, I don't eat as much as I did before the surgery. Um, like again, I get up every morning, I drink my ginger and lime tea, um, and I wait till like the middle of the day to eat and when I eat, I eat moderately. When I feel myself getting full, which doesn't take much for me to get full, I stop eating. And I'll wait till later on in the night, maybe around eight or nine o'clock. And then I'll eat again and I'll eat lightly. I'm drinking plenty of water, plenty of water because you need to be able to flush out the fluid. Like right now, I'm actually, I'm retaining a lot of fluid. I woke up this morning. I have to say I'm still itching like crazy. I've been cheating. I have not been wearing a goddamn fire high. I haven't been wearing the motherfucking, excuse my language, I'm sorry. The waist trainer, because I've been itching, I took, I've been taking Benadryl. I took, I take two Benadryls, and that's not doing anything for me. I'm still itching. Like I'll have on my waist trainer, I'll have on my binder, and I'll just be itching like crazy, so I'll just wind up taking taking the binder and the, the waist trainer off so I can scratch. But I'm um, not scratching on the outside, I'm scratching on the inside. So the Benadryl, I'm taking two Benadryls, that does nothing for me. I'm still like itching like crazy. So I wind up taking off my shapewear and scratching and I'm still itching because I'm itching internally, not externally. I'm just itching. It's lightening up a little bit, but I'm still going through the itching process. So I'm still retaining fluid. So right now, I actually look like I have these like bulges, bulges. My, my tummy 
my tummy's actually like poking out. It's poking out. But I lost five pounds since last week. So 15 pounds I've lost since my surgery. I guess the fat is actually like melting away, the extra excess fat. Because what I was told three months from now, I should like really see the, the big difference from when I went in, when I went into surgery, as far as my waistline, the fat, majority of the fat should be, I shouldn't have to worry about it except for one that's the times when I'm menstruating, I'm on my menstrual and on my period and I'll, I'll, I'll have the, what they call it, the water weight, the water weight. But overall, like I said, I'm, I'm 15 pounds lighter than I was. Um, before surgery, I'm still itching like crazy. So I take, uh, what I'll do is I'll take three Benadryls. But when I take three Benadryls, it puts me out, it puts me to sleep. So I have to make sure I'm home, where I can be able to pass out. Like I'm itching right now. I'm still itching, I'm itching. I'm just uh, itching everywhere. When I first started itching, the palms of my hands were itching like crazy and the bottom of my feet was itching like crazy. Now I'm like, I'm like itching with my arms. My back is giving me the most problems. And my stomach. I've been wearing my shake wear, but like I said, when I start itching, so I just had to scratch. So I take the, what, two Benadryls? Don't do nothing. Take three Benadryls. Puts me out, puts me to sleep. I don't know. But I'm 15 pounds lighter than what I was from surgery. I'm going to the gym, Supreme Sports, later on. I'm going to try to hit y'all with um, a workout video. I've been trying to be, like, um, discreet because, you know, in the gyms, they don't want you recording because other people, you know, they don't want to be able to be, be photobombed or whatever in the camera. So I try to record when I can, when I there's not a lot of people around in the gym. So I can be able to hit y'all with a workout video. But, yeah. 15 pounds lighter since the surgery. Um, I'm still like, I'm still seeing my abs. Like I said, you see, the thing is when people start complaining about, mm, okay, I got it. But people start, the women start complaining about, oh, I'm not seeing my results after Lipo 360. It's because they still have to think they are going to keep on, they're going to still retain fluid. That's why they tell you to wear the fire high. The fire high is supposed to help, like, push the fluid out so you'll be able to pee the fluid out. That's why I say it's good to detox. It's good to drink plenty of water so you can be able to pee the fluid out and do the massages. I was supposed to got my massage last week, but I missed my appointment with Lady Shay. She's out of town. When she come back, um, I had to reschedule. I apologize, apologize Lady Shay, again, when you see this video, but I get another one more massage with Lady Shay when she come back. But it's good to keep the massages going, the cavity, um, the cavity massages. You know, eat clean, detox, and exercise so you can be able to secure your investments, baby. If you want me, you got to show me love. You gotta love that old school music. It got to. Hey, y'all have a magnificent day. How y'all like my outfit? How y'all like it? Hey, hey, you got to show me love. Hit like and subscribe so y'all can follow me on my Lipo360 journey.